Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. Have you watched my Osterfield video? It's in the Doncaster playlist. Uh, if you have, thank you very much for watching it. And also if you have, you will know that Osterfield has quite a lot of history revolving around the Pilgrim Fathers and in particular William Bradford. Well, William Bradford didn't do all of the things he did on his own. He needed a little bit of help and one of the people that helped him came from this village. We're in Bassett Law today. This is the parish of Scrooby. How about this for a name for a house? I wonder if it is really.
one thing I haven't found yet in Scrooby, the parish notice board. Now, I've put a card on the church notice board, because I've already filmed that as you've seen, but I haven't actually found the parish notice board, which is a little bit uh, disconcerting. So, if I can't find it, if any Scrooby locals out there would like to point me in the, in the right direction, that'd be fantastic. Okay, I think that's just about going to do it for Scrooby. We have uh, a couple more things to see here though, and those are in Scrooby Top, which means we have to hop in the car and head back towards Bodry. So I'm not a million percent sure with COVID rules whether or not I'd be able to actually get into this. Um, I know it sounds daft because it's outside, but I'm not totally sure. But the burial area, the woodland burial area here is behind these trees. I, I, I can see like little memorial plaques and things um, and little benches you can maybe sit on. But other than that, not really a lot of much. So. Um, yeah, I think this is the best I can do here. I'm probably, I'm probably being a little bit overcautious. You can probably go into it, but I'm not going to chance it. So let's uh, let's move on. All right, guys, that's just about going to do it for the parish of Scrooby. This one's taken me quite a long time. I didn't realise just how much there was in Scrooby to film. I figured it was just going to be like another Osterfield where there was just a few um, things to see related to the. Fathers, but uh, I've, I've, I've actually managed to find quite a lot more so yeah it's been good I've enjoyed this one and I hope you have too uh, and there's going to be plenty more to see on the channel relating to the Pilgrim Fathers because of all the of the other parishes that we saw on the on the boards in the main village so yep yeah, hope you don't get bored of it <laughs> this has been the parish of Scrooby I have been the village idiot and I'm out <laughs>well hello there now then it's a couple of days later and I'm back in Scrooby because thanks to North Knotts Business Connections who I've mentioned before on the parish notice board they put me in touch with someone who could give me a little bit of bonus footage for this one where we're heading if you recognize it from earlier in the video is back down Manor Road and towards that gate at the very end because behind that gate is the manor house and we're about to have a look at it. Hello. Hello Camilla. Hi Alan, are you in? Yeah, thank you.
So here we go. This is not something everyone gets to see. We are now inside the grounds of the manor house and we're heading towards the famous building where the separatists plotted their escape to the new world. These boards are a little bit dif difficult to read, so I'm just going to read them um, out as well as film them. The top one says, On the 300th anniversary of the sailing of the Mayflower with the Pilgrim Fathers to New England, this tablet was unveiled by the representatives of the Anglo-American Society in commemoration of the heroic virtues of the little band of lovers of truth and freedom which first met in this place September the 2nd, 1920. The second one down. This tablet is erected by the Pilgrim Society of Plymouth, Massachusetts, United States of America to mark the site of the ancient manor house where lived William Brewster from 1588 to 1608 and where he organised the Pilgrim Church of which he became ruling elder and with which in 1608 he removed to Amsterdam in 1609 to Leiden and in 1620 to Plymouth where he died April 16th, 1644. And this bottom one uh, is, is from a visit. Uh, it says to commemorate the visit on the 14th of July 1977 of 360 Congregationalists from 10 different countries representing the International Congregational Fellowship. Stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5.6 And just like that, my friends, that's it for Scrooby for the second time. Um, thank you very much to Camilla Dunstan and her parents for allowing me to uh, walk around their house and film some shots of the manor house. It's fantastic. Um, it's not something I get to do every day, so I'm extremely grateful for it. Uh, and I would also like to thank uh, North Knox Business Connections for putting me in touch with her as well. Uh, so that I could do this. It's been fantastic. This has been the Parish of Scrooby, and I mean it this time, I am out. <laughs> <laughs>